And then this Goodwill find is absolutely incredible. When I saw this, I started running and Nick's like, what do we need another basket for? And I'm like, you don't pass up on a basket like this at the Goodwill. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, and as you can see, I've already started decorating for Christmas. I am so excited to share my home tour with you guys coming very soon. I think this will be my last little haul to share with you before I share my home tour. I actually was not planning on filming this. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. I actually was not planning on filming today's video and even like having a video up for you guys on Sunday because I just posted one on Friday, but I figured this would be a fun impromptu video since Black Friday sales are happening. Everything that I got that I'm gonna share with you today is not like some epic Black Friday sale deals. Um, my husband and I just love going out on Black Friday just for like the joy of it and seeing different deals going on, so. We stopped in a couple of stores on Friday and then today is Saturday and we actually went to an antique store together. I don't think we've ever really gone antiquing together. It's just not his thing. He loves his things. I love mine, but we did end up going together and it was a lot of fun and I found some good treasures. So very impromptu video to share with you guys, but I think you're going to love my finds. Most of these things, I feel like, I shouldn't say most, some of these things I can link for you so you'll be able to shop some of them. I know most of my hauls you can't really shop because they're thrifted things, but I do have some things from Target, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, some things from Home Goods. but we're going to get right into it. And first we're going to start with these adorable Santa mugs. Santa mugs are going to be like the theme of this video, but I love me some vintage Santa mugs, but they're very hard for me to find. They're expensive. So I have found some alternatives for us and I got these from Michaels. You guys, these were $9.99 and then I wanna say 40 or 50% off at Michaels this year. And don't believe what it says online. It says that these are online only and that is a lie. Um, I will put the link in my description down below. If you click on it, it probably says online only as well for your location, but I found these in store and I have also seen them on people's like Michael's shop with me videos that these are definitely in store. So I don't know why it's saying that, but I feel like these are so cute. I think these are a great dupe for the vintage Santa mugs that we love. And they were so, so affordable, like $5 or so. Even if you get them shipped to you and pay a little bit extra for shipping, still, I feel like a great deal compared to the $35 ones that I have been getting on Instagram. <laughs> so I love these so much. They look great, like sprinkled in with your vintage ones too. So love them. I got those two things at Michael's and then I did get this teeny little tree. If you watched my Christmas haul, I shared that I needed a tree for my one crock. So I picked this up for $5.99 and then I think this was like 50% off. It's real tiny and sparse, which I love, but I have this tucked in this little crock and I just have it popped in there. And I think that looks so cute. So I will link this little tree down below as well if you need a small tree to pop into your little Crocs like this. I guess I'll get to this home goods bag so I can get it out of my way. So I needed some bathroom towels. I used up all our kitchen ones in a certain way that I styled them. So we went to home goods yesterday and I picked out just some simple little towels. They're so soft. They're by this Monaco brand and they were only $5.99 for a set of two. I actually should have checked if they have the hook on them and I didn't. Son of a biscuit. They don't have the hook. Oh, dang it. 
I'll see if I can just like hang them from the hook. You know that little loop that a lot of them have now? So they hang off your hooks well. We'll see, but these are really cute. Hopefully they will work and they won't just fall off. Next up at Home Goods, I am obsessed with gingerbread men for the holidays. I just think they're so cute. And I feel like gingerbread men are something you can leave up even after Christmas. I think it's just like a cute winter type of vibe. So I found these. These ramekins are so cheap at Home Goods. You can get like simple white ones to style with your ironstone collection. They just have so many of them and they're like five to six dollars. I got these. They're a set of four and they were, sorry, $6.99. And I just think these are so precious. I'm gonna stack them for like shelf styling, but I think they are adorable. So I got those. And then the main reason I went into Home Goods was because my soon to be sister in law, Dominique, shared a TikTok and she was using this bowl to mix dog treats. She was making her dogs dog treats. And she was using this bowl, and I was like, Where did you get that bowl? I have to have it. She said, Home Goods. And I was with my husband, Nick, and when I saw this in the aisle, I literally started running for it. He was like, why are you running? I had to have this thing. How cute is this? I'm obsessed. Has the handle, a little spout, and it comes with all of this stuff as well. This would make a great gift, so... Merry Christmas to me. This is a gift to myself. No, I'm kidding. But this really would make such a cute gift. And I will use all of this stuff. Like I can use these. Um, I can style these in a little crock that I have next to my stove. If you um, like collect, oh, what are these called? If you collect cookie cutters for Christmas, you could stick these in like a glass jar, put some ribbon on them, hang them from a peg rail so many cute ideas for that but really i just bought this set for the bowl i love this thing i'm hoping it'll fit under my KitchenAid mixer so stinking cute this was um oh i thought it was 19.99 this was only 16.99 this would make a great gift for somebody honestly this wasn't on sale but i did get this better homes and gardens wax <clears throat> wax melter at Walmart. I went to set it up and if you read it says 25 watt light bulb included. Of course I picked out the one that somebody tampered with and somebody stole the light bulb out of this. Like are we kidding? Are you that desperate? I was so frustrated when I got home so I need to go exchange this but Honestly, I love having these in like every room in the house. They make a room smell so good. I just buy the wax melts right from Walmart. And this one gives like a really nice ambiance if you can see. So I got that. I think that was like $19.99. Okay, at Target. So Target had some pretty good deals. I got a pair of boots that were 40% off. And then I got a vacuum that was 50% off. I'll share the vacuum first. I did come home and use it as soon as we got done Black Friday shopping yesterday. And I will say, I think it works very well. We have so much dog hair and dirt in this house. They just track in so much stuff. And we have a golden retriever. He sheds like no tomorrow, two cats, another dog. We have a lot of pet hair here. So I was desperate to find a new vacuum and like finding a new vacuum is like the most controversial thing. You read reviews, people are like, it absolutely sucks or it's absolutely amazing. It's like shopping for a vacuum to me is so stressful. Um, but this guy was on sale for $99.99. It was originally $200. So it's a shark. So far, so good. I do like it. I don't know if it's still on sale. I will link it down below. Super lightweight, it does come off. Like the large pole thing comes off so you have like a little handheld thing, which I really liked. Um, but yeah, it says powerful pet hair pickup. 
and I thought it was like really easy to maneuver, easy to put together, and the cord is so long. I can vacuum my whole house, which I couldn't do before with my old vacuum, which I absolutely love. So that is our new vacuum. Very exciting things when you're in your 20s, finding a new vacuum, you know? So also at Target, I got three more mini Santa mug ornaments. There was only three left and I bought all three. I just shared these in my Christmas haul. So this was very impromptu. I didn't even think we were gonna go out Black Friday shopping, but we always do and we love that stuff. And when Nick's in the mood to shop, like he doesn't really mind. He's not like breathing down my neck. So that's always fun too when he enjoys going with me. But I got these three mini Santa mugs. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I did with them. It looks, it's so cute. It's so cute. So stay tuned to see how I style these. Let's hope I don't end up in another Target and buy the next Target out of them. I won't buy anymore. I won't buy anymore, okay. <laughs> okay, and then I shared these boots in an Instagram story and so many of my friends asked me like, where did you find those boots? I've been looking for them everywhere. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even know these were like a hot commodity of a boot. I just saw them on a whim. I haven't seen these like advertised anywhere or anything. I just stumbled across them and everyone was like, where did you get them? I do have this same exact style in black and then another brown color like a dark one from last year and then I came across these and these are so cute these are one of my favorite style boots to wear in the fall and winter because I love this like sock top very cute and chunky rarely do I wear boots like this because I'm normally in like comfy clothes yoga pants I'm in yoga pants right now but when I do go out, I do like to wear like a cute boot like this. So love these. They were originally 40 and I paid $23.99 for them. The boots were 40% um, off every boot for the whole family. I think it's still going on. Well, I think it is as of Saturday. So don't quote me on any of these prices, okay? I'm just sharing my Black Friday finds. So I got those. Very cute, very cute. And then, did I get anything else at Target? I think I just got these. Yeah, this is the last thing that I got at Target. And I have wanted this little Christmas tree mug for the longest time. I can never find it year after year. And I just like, I didn't ever want to order it online when I saw it, but this is the Wonder Shop brand. It was $5 and this mixed in with my ironstone and like my little Santa mugs. Just looks so cute. So got that little Christmas tree mug. And that was all that I found at Target. Um, then we went to Hobby Lobby. So Hobby Lobby is running 60% off their Christmas decor, which I feel like is unheard of this early. It was even 60% off like before Thanksgiving. So. They definitely mark their stuff way down this year. However, I feel like the prices of things are so much more than they used to be. Like some of the things I was looking at, I was like, really? Like this is that expensive now? It's definitely gone up, but it is 60% off. I think it's still 60% off. I didn't really find anything in Hobby Lobby that I was like, I have to have this. And that's kind of rare for me. I feel like because I've just been going with the more like vintage antique vibe, I didn't find anything that I just had to have like when I'm in an antique store, you know? But I did come across this sign. It was originally 32 and then, like I said, 60% off. So I think I paid maybe 13, 13 and some change. And I thought this would just look really cute with like that primitive farmhouse antique vibe it's so cute like the letters are weathered it almost looks like it's handmade the perimeter is like kind of chippy and it's pretty big so for like 13 14 dollars i thought this was a great deal and i think it looks like something that 
was handmade or like would be hanging up at an actual tree farm. I think this is so cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I don't wanna put it in my dining room because my dining room is full of like all of my treasures, if I'm being honest. This is where I put everything that I love, mostly because I love to collect like kitchen and dining stuff. So I'm really trying to find ways to incorporate like all my primitives and antiques and vintage things into the living room because I feel like the living room and the sitting room in my house is so sparse <laughs> compared to out here. So I'm gonna try to style that somewhere in the living room. Do you care? I am rambling so much. Okay, um, I wanna share two Amazon finds with you. I am all about lighting and like that cozy ambiance that lights give to your house. I took a clip last night after Nick and I put these together. So I will insert a little clip over me talking here, but I got these lighted candle stick things that suction to your window. They don't only just suction to your window, but you can also attach them to your tree. I know these are really popular right now. People have been sticking the candles on their tree. However, I got them to put on the windows in the front of our house. So you have that like cozy ambiance when people pull in our cul-de-sac, it just looks so nice. So I will link these down below. So they come with like, a, oops. <laughs> they come with a couple different options. I did not really like explore these options or I think this one is so you can clip them onto your Christmas tree, but I got the white ones. Like I said, I'll link these for you, but you put one AA battery in them. And then you can put this hook through the suction cup. You push it all the way through. And then you can, so it kind of looks like this. And then you just stick the light on there and you just suction it right to your window. If you have cats, this is a beautiful thing because your cats won't knock it off of your windowsill. And my favorite part about it is it comes with a remote so you can change the settings to flicker or just like one standard light setting and it, has a timer. So it's like six hours on, 18 hours off. So I absolutely love these. I did see a couple reviews saying that they had trouble with this sticking. <laughs> Phil, you love paper bags? They had trouble with this sticking to their window. Um, but if you just lick the suction cup, sticks like a charm. <laughs> and then the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I think is so, so good. These should be like the top rated candlesticks on Amazon. If they're not, they are incredible. So these are also battery operated. I got mine in a set of six and I have them here actually. Did you just turn them on? Yeah. <laughs> so this is them, courtesy of Nick. He just hit the remote for us. But yeah, I'm glad you did that so I can share, share these with them. These look so incredibly real. Like they feel like wax and they look like a wax candle. And then this like is rubber and you can move it. And it just looks like a real lit candle. We've got theatrics going on, courtesy of Nick. But seriously, I think these are such good quality. They required, um, I think it was two or two AAA batteries. Um, and I'm telling you, these are just such good quality. You just click the thing on the bottom and then you can put them on timer. You have a remote, you can make them flicker. So good. These are ivory. There's a couple different color options on there. White, ivory, minor ivory, and 
they are just such, such good quality. So I'll link these down below for you guys. Bring such a nice ambiance into your house. And if you have kids or animals and you obviously don't want to put a flaming candle up against your wall, these are a really good option. Okay, I only have a couple more finds to share with you. Um, my husband really was such a saint this weekend. We went shopping on Friday. We stopped in the Goodwill on Friday and then he went with me to an antique store today. So I just had the time of my life this weekend. So much fun. And we stopped in the Goodwill because I had a text. If you don't sign up for their alerts and texts, you totally should because they share like holiday promotions with you guys. They'll randomly send you um, coupons through text. So on Black Friday, they were running an additional 20% off your purchase, which when you're already getting stuff for pretty cheap, that's an amazing deal. So I was like, Nick, we have to stop in the Goodwill. So we ran into the Goodwill and I was so excited to find these. However, I picked them up and walked away from them. And then, sorry, I just keep talking about my husband, Nick, but he had the brilliant idea. I didn't even think of it. They came in a bag of three like so. I don't want this little stocking thing, but it came in the bag. I just wanted the Santa mugs. Now, somebody painted these. I don't think they're vintage. I can't really tell because, because they're painted. Um, I don't know. I don't think they are. The style of this almost makes me feel like maybe they could be. I don't know. But we walked by them and I was like, oh no, I can't get down with like the eyes of these. No, no, no. I don't do that. So we walked by them and then we went back around and he was like, why don't you get them and paint them white? Brilliant. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So that's my plan. I'm going to do that little DIY today and you will see these in my home tour if they turn out good. I think they'll turn out just fine because I do have some solid white ones and they look cute. So what a brilliant idea. I'm going to go over these with like a primer and then I'll probably spray paint them. But I thought that was such a good idea. I did pay $4.49 for these three items. I don't, I don't really love this. This isn't really my jam. I don't know if it's an ornament or what, but I, I don't really love this. So, um, there's that. <laughs> I'll probably donate that back to the Goodwill, but can't wait to DIY these today. This might be someone's cup of tea with the black eyeliner, but no, 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 not for me. And then this Goodwill find is absolutely incredible. When I saw this, I started running and Nick's like, what do we need another basket for? And I'm like, you don't pass up on a basket like this at the Goodwill. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure this is Studio McGee because this looks just like the braiding of wicker that our dog toys are in. I'm actually gonna bring you over and I'll show you a comparison. But this is an expensive basket from Target. I am like certain it is. And it's huge. I can't even barely fit it in the screen. Like, do you see how little my head looks compared to this? <laughs> it's a huge, huge basket. Has handles. There's like a couple little, like this is like just a little broken, who the heck cares? Structurally so sound. It is dusty at the bottom. I'm gonna soak it in the shower and let all that crap come off of it. But you guys, I paid $9.49 for this. Can you see the tag? $9.49. And then I had 20% off. So really, my total was $11.92 for two Santa mugs and this gigantic basket from Target that I believe was like $50. I'm gonna try to find a link to it down below. I'll try to insert one if I can find it. If not, I'm gonna put a screenshot of the exact basket. But let me take you into our sitting room and put this next to our dog bin that was 
paid $90 for it because it was lidded and we can hide the toys from guests and stuff. But this type of basket is so expensive at Target. Let's see. Look how much of an exact match of this braiding this is. I'm pretty sure that this is the Target Kabuku basket, if I'm remembering correctly. This one has the lid in the back, but this is so good. I can't even believe I paid $10 for this. Oh, you coming to check out my basket? <laughs> Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Okay, and the last couple of things I have to share with you, just three things. We stopped at an antique store. Oh, we didn't stop there. We actually solely drove just to go to the antique store. Nick was like, what do you wanna do today? And I was like, you know what I wanna do today. I love to go shopping. So he did go with me. We had lots of fun. We were like nostalgic in there. It was actually really nice to go with him. I scored really amazing things. So I'm going to share my favorite find for last. But first up, I found this adorable butter mold. Oh, the, the sun is really coming in hot. I look even paler than I normally am. Can you imagine if I was this pale? <laughs> okay, so I got this amazing butter mold. It looks like a bird of some sort. I don't really buy it for the stamp. I buy it for how adorable it looks when it sits like this. Love this. I paid $22.95 for this, which I feel like is a, sorry if you can hear my, my um, animals. Phil is currently in the home goods bag. Phil, Phil, what are you doing in there? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hello. What is that on my floor? Is that throw-up residue? <gasps> what is that? I'm gonna assume someone threw up and then somebody else ate it. Oh my god. You can't make this stuff up. This is real life. And I'm filming on my table above vomit residue. Either that's like throw up residue or actually poop. Oh my god. The joys of four animals. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, let me be cute and show a little clip of my cat. Literal poop on my floor. Poop or something. I don't know. If it's throw up. Mm. As a nurse, I can do anything. Literally anything. But if you throw up near me, game over. <laughs> it's game over. I hope that's not throw up residue. Oh no. Oh, you guys. Okay. Anyway. Sorry, it's getting darker. I had to shut the curtains. But anyway, I'm super excited about this little butter mold. I always see these for $30 and above. So $22.95 I thought was a pretty good deal for it. And this is the stamp on the bottom. Next up, I just scored one of these and shared it in my last haul. But I found another one and there was no chance I was leaving it behind. This one is a little bit smaller than the other one I have, and it has a different top. So I got another ironstone piece. Someone said this was like a biscuit holder or something. I don't know. It looks like a little sugar bowl to me. It's a good size. And this is the top of this one. Pretty details on the handles. I actually think these are like little lions on the handles now that I'm really looking at it. You can see that. And the bottom is warranted ironstone 
John F. Oh, John Edwards. And it also has this stamp here. So beautiful. I paid $30 for this. <laughs> Love this so much. And then, y'all, when I, Nick and I are like reminiscing about something, he's telling me a story about something he found. <laughs> and I turn my head and I'm like, <gasps> I couldn't believe that I found these and in a pair nonetheless. So, I have been seeing these in like antique farmhouse style homes and home tours, seeing them on Pinterest. And I wanted a set so bad. I actually was trying to get a set on Etsy, but they sold before I bought them. And I was really hoping to have a set to share with you in my Christmas haul because I feel like these are a great primitive antique item that you can incorporate in the Christmas season. I'm probably gonna leave mine up all year because that's how much I love them. Oh my God. I don't know what it is about these, probably because I also have an obsession with these wooden feet, but I got these. Oh my God. And they're a pair, they're exact, and I just cannot. These hung up with, and luckily they already have the little holes. Excuse me, excuse me. These hung up with some Christmas ribbon, like on a accordion rack, a peg rail, even hanging from a fireplace. Oh my gosh, I just love these so much. They are apparently like sock forms is what I believe, but they are so hard for me to find. I am just so excited that I found them. They are so cute. Like I said, I think they will look really good with some Christmas ribbon on them. And I am just elated that I found them. I did pay 45 for the pair. Phil, could you give me like three more minutes and then you can do whatever you want to the bag? Three more minutes. Hello? Hello? Can you just be quiet for like a couple more minutes? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Hello. Always with me. <laughs> Always with your mom. Yeah. So yes, I was very thrilled to find these, so excited to use them, and they will be styled in my home tour coming very, very soon. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and seeing my random Black Friday, Black Friday weekend finds. Don't forget to support your local businesses as well. Hit up some of your favorite antique stores, thrift stores. They are loaded with Christmas right now. So don't forget to also shop small when you're also at like your local Target, all that good stuff. I will leave as many links as I can for you guys in the description down below. If you do shop those links, I do make a small commission off of that. So keep that in mind. And if you do shop my links, I thank you so much for supporting me, my crazy cats, my animals that throw up on my floor. You know, you know the drill. <laughs> I will see you all in my next video. Not sure when the home tour is coming, but it's coming. So make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.